The Victoria Youth Development Organization hosted a flag raising ceremony to commemorate the 178th anniversary of the village. Delon Sanko brings us that story. The village formerly known as Northbrook was the first to be bought by African slaves after gaining freedom in 1839. Minister of Social Cohesion Dr. George Norton in the feature address commended the youths for the effort made to recognize the 178th anniversary and encourage them to continue working towards the development of the village. I appeal to you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, youths, do not let the struggle of your forefathers go in vain. They struggle to ensure a brighter future for you and your future generations to come. Let us not allow the struggle of your forefathers to go in vain. Dr. Norton noted that team effort was pivotal for the slaves to achieve the purchase of the village and urged the residents to adopt such principles. I want to urge you to become more cohesive to break down the barriers that exist among the gender difference, among the age difference, the socioeconomic difference. And let us all come together in whatever way we can to make Victoria a place that we all would be proud of. Minister within the Ministry of Public Health, Dr. Karen Cummins, highlighted that the village was once an economic hub and charged the villagers to reshape their focus. It is time to refocus our energies towards re-establishing a viable village economy for the welfare of our people. Let us redesign the village economy in line with the current national economic development program. The anniversary celebration saw a number of cultural performances and presentations before concluding with the oystin of the Golden Arrowhead. Mm -hmm.